this is the main event. Unbelievable. We got Bubba Jenkins versus Frank Molinaro. What an incredible event we got in front of us right here. What a great storyline, man. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Bubba Jenkins and Molinaro? Well, you know, Bubba Jenkins, as we all know, two-time NCAA All-American, but he's a, he beat and pinned David Taylor in the finals, made a big statement. Four-time All-American Frank Molinaro won the national titles as a senior. A title as a senior. Just this is this has been a grudge match for the last year and a half since Bubba went to Arizona State. This has been something that these guys have spoken about and something that they've want to put together. Well, that is really the story behind the story. Bubba Jenkins, of course, was a student at Penn State, wrestled at Penn State. He transferred his senior year to Arizona State University, where he then went on to beat David Taylor of Penn State at 165 pounds for the national title. Molinero, on the other hand, finished eighth as a freshman, finished in fifth as a sophomore, finished second as a junior, and finished in first place, winning the title as a senior. These guys, I don't think they like each other. They do not like each other at all. Yesterday at the weigh-in, these two guys went nose to nose, they almost came to fisticuffs. It was unbelievable. It was like a real true MMA type vibe in the room at the weigh-in. And you know what? You got to love it. I mean, these guys are going to add excitement to the sport of wrestling. So, you know, we, we love that. We love that type of stuff. Absolutely. Two former NCAA All-Americans, two former NCAA national champions going head to head right here on the floor of Madison Square Garden in the heartbeat of New York City at Grapple at the Garden. Right now, ooh, nice little high crotch. Nice high crotch by Molinaro. Let's see if he could finish right here. Jenkins working oh, his arm very good. on the inside. Defense defense. Very nicely. Good defense on his part. Molinaro nice. right back at it again. He picks up the leg. Oh, he's, he's got, got the standing he's cradle. Got that cradle locked up. He's got that leg locked up. And Jenkins pops his head out. Melanero keeps the leg. Jenkins was almost in some trouble right there. Yeah, he was. But I'll tell you right now, he'd rather give up that two than get put on his back. Yes, he would, absolutely. And Melanero's trying to come around behind, but the wrestlers go out of bounds. And we'll come back to the center of the mat on Fox College Sports. Last week, Molinero goes and goes to the, N, uh, the New York Athletic Club International Cup wins it and wins outstanding wrestler so he's been in that wrestling vibe Bubba Jenkins has been on that MMA vibe over the last uh, uh, year or so but he's been training for this believe me he is a true warrior he's a true competitor so believe me when I tell you Bubba Jenkins did not train and do and wrestle and prepare for this for this event well Bubba was here last year though and he did make the comment to both of us at the conclusion of last year's Grapple at the Garden, and he was interested in coming back here and wrestling. He wanted to come to Madison Square Garden, the sports epicenter of the Western Hemisphere. He wanted to be here on this floor and compete, and he didn't care who it was against. Well, let me tell you, when I, when I spoke to these two guys about putting this thing together, there was no hesitation. There was all, everybody was all in. What a great bout. We are at the conclusion of period number one. We're 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard. The choice goes to Bubba Jenkins, and he defers. Molinero says, I'll take that down position. And we're going to get underway, period number two. Nick, I don't even know what these guys weigh right now. What do you think, about 174? Well, they, yesterday they both weighed in about a pound and a half under the, 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 the weight, which was about 161 and a half. Right now, I. I'm thinking Bub has got to be in his 70s. I know Frank walks around a little lighter than that, but you know, at this stage in the game, I mean, it's, you know, I don't think they're thinking about weight. They're just looking at it. And a quick, real quick stand up, real quick escape by Molinaro, one nothing. But I think, I think they're worrying about what's in front of them. You betcha, and that puts the first points on the scoreboard. Molinaro with a 1-0 lead. Molinaro in the blue singlet. Bubba Jenkins in the white with the blue pinstripes, uh, almost like a New York Yankees uh, uh, singlet. And we've got 139 remaining period at number two. Only three seconds of riding time on the board for Bubba Jenkins. And of course, riding time does not become significant until we get to the one minute mark. But this is the main event for Grapple at the Garden. You know, this was supposed to be nice little high crotch attempt. This was supposed to be Bubba Jenkins versus Kyle Dake. Kyle Dake uh, broke his hand overseas in, a, in, a, in, a, in the Grand Prix and uh, couldn't compete, so Molinero stepped up and took this, uh, took this match on last minute notice, but he was training, he was ready, and Bubba gladly obliged because he's been wanting this match for a year. Absolutely. Over a year. Absolutely, he did. I, I, and you know, I saw Kyle Dake earlier today, he's got his hand bandaged, 
Kyle himself, he's a great competitor, and he would rather be out there on the mat right now against Bubba Jenkins and be sitting in the stands. It's killing him right now. It's killing, it's killing, it's killing Kyle Dake right now. Molinaro in on that leg. All he's got to do is pull him in. And they're out of bounds. They're not coming back in bounds right now. We'll walk back to the center of the mat, neutral position. You still at one nothing with 32 seconds left. That's correct. One Why nothing. Time isn't a factor here. Not a factor. Molinero in the blue with the gold stripe across to the back. Bubba Jenkins in the white with the pinstripes. Bubba Jenkins had a very successful MMA career thus far in that uh, in that effort. Molinero, both of these guys, look at them. They're just incredibly fit right now, both of them. Bubba looks over to the right, looking to his corner. Little collar tie for both of the wrestlers. And that's two periods of wrestling in the books. And we're going to head to period number three. 1-0 in favor of Frank Molinaro. Bubba Jenkins will take the down position. Molinaro will take you know what? This, this is this is Molinaro's favorite position. This is where he feels comfortable. And let me tell you something. Sometimes that's a mind play. A guy Molinaro. like Bubba Jenkins is going to is going to take down just to play mind tricks with Molinaro. But Molinaro, this is his this is his favorite position. He so likes let's see to if ride. He, can capitalize on he this. likes to ride, Nick. And we've got a stalemate. We're going to restart. Molinaro is going to unhook. And we're going to get after it one more time here. 150 on the clock. Six seconds in riding time, so riding time is not a factor. Molinero with the flanker in once again. Reaching down for Bubba Jenkins' right leg. Trying to capture the arm, now going up over the top. You know, Molinero, he, he could be in a position right now. He's going for that. Oh, he's going for it. He's going to try to banana split Bubba if he can. Let me tell you, Bubba is just such a veteran. He knows every position. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Back and forth. What a great scramble. Molinero trying to hip over now. Bubba Jenkins looking up at the referee. Molinero trying to hip over once again. And two points on the reversal awarded to Bubba Jenkins. And Molinero's trying to use the out-of-bounds line now. The official telling Bubba he shouldn't be hanging on and he can't hang on. Molinero working for the side and we're out of bounds. You know, we'll go back to the center. center. You've got to hand it to Bubba. He goes down against Frank Molinero's favorite position. He ends up reversing him in that position. So you know what? You've got to give a lot of credit to Jenkins in that position. And you know that's got to get into Molinero's head right now because he likes to ride from the top. And now he's in the down position after being reversed by Bubba Jenkins. Well, you know what? It's going to be an exciting finish because Molinero gets out. It's 2-2. Riding time's not a factor. And uh, this is going to be an incredible <laughs> finish to this match. And Molinero's working on it right now. Bubba's trying to hang on to the knee, now working his way back up. And we've got a warning for Stall stalling. Warning on Jenkins, his first. That stalling warning is Jenkins' first stalling warning. It's not worth anything until the second one occurs, if it, in fact, ever does. Molinero back in the down position. Jenkins covering from the superior position. On the whistle, Molinero up, trying to get some distance. And Jenkins hanging on to the leg as they go out of bounds. We'll walk back to the center of the mat and restart with 29 seconds remaining, period three. Molinero trailing by one. Riding time is not an advantage. 30 seconds left of the match. Could it go into overtime? We could only hope. <laughs> Molinero now up on his feet, trying to get some separation between himself and Jenkins. Jenkins trying to lift Molinero and throws him. A great throw. Unbelievable super right. freestyle, nothing here. And Molinero now is out. He is out. Oh, with six win. seconds left. Six Molinero seconds. We've got a 2 2 match. We are match. going into overtime. Four seconds on the clock. Unbelievable finish. But did you see that throw by Bubba Unbelievable. Jenkins? Unbelievable. He Bubba stood up and in. Bubba popped his hips, man, and he went with it. Popped his hips right into Molinero, took him right over the top. How about a little bonus wrestling, folks? We had to sign the victory.
and Bubba almost hits a super duck with four seconds left. Putting one minute on the clock, we're headed to sudden victory in overtime. This is period number four, sudden victory, one minute on the clock. If either wrestler scores in this one minute period, he will be the victor of this main event. Nick, it doesn't get any more exciting than this. We're on the floor of Madison Square Garden, the sports epicenter of the world, the heart of New York City. Molinero in on a shot. Jenkins blocking. Jenkins counters with the leg, gets two legs, and Jenkins oh, just Jenkins. won the bout. Jenkins pulls it off. Just won the bout with a double leg on the counter move. What an incredible finish. Overtime. Molinero sticking his hand out. Molinero in overtime. And it did not disappoint AL. Bubba Jenkins got his wish to step on the floor of Madison Square Garden. He is on the floor of Madison Square Garden where he got the victory over Frank Molinaro. Unbelievable.